Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I am back yet again to talk to you about the finale. That is the worst year in the history of years, 2020. And we're going to be doing the top toys of 2020, a year that no one will ever forget for various reasons, but also because this was one incredible year for toys, toys in general, from action figures to board games to things for kids, just everything and anything. There was something for you if you're a fan, a nerd, something to that degree, and that's what made up for 2020 in the whatever way that we could possibly have. So this is going to be fun. I picked 13, which is a nice odd number for 2020. I thought that was very fitting. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the best of the best, the cream of the crop, the top toys of 2020. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel where I take a look at lots of retro action figures, new action figures, toy news, constant news updates. There's something here for you. I definitely guarantee it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on my notifications, and I'll see you around the YouTubes. Now kicking off this list, we're looking at the Quintesson Judge from Hasbro's Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise series. The newest iteration of Transformers, the entirety of War for Cybertron now moving into Kingdom for 2021. They have just knocked it out of the park. This has been one of the finest endeavors for Transformers ever. And this Quintesson Judge coming in just the tail end of 2020 is fantastic. It's a figure, a character I have wanted for years, and they nailed it from the sculpt to the articulation to a transformation mode for this guy. It's evil, it's twisted, it's weird. Guilty or innocent, this is a fantastic Transformer action figure. Next up is the It's a Me Mario from Jack Specific's World of Super Mario series, a taller electronic figure fully articulated, hand-stitched clothing. Every piece of Mario, all 35 years for him, is in this figure. From sound effects, to the music, to the various poses you can achieve, it's a wondrous work of ingenuity and technology all coming together to give you a life-like version of a Nintendo mascot that has been with us for years and years. If you have not picked this up, I highly recommend it, even for your video game room, your man cave. This guy will stand tall next to your Game Boy, your N64, or best yet, your brand new Nintendo Switch that everyone bought for 2020. Cliff Secord once again takes to the skies, courtesy of Diamond Select. This is the Disney Select series, The Rocketeer, which came out earlier in 2020, and there has never been a whole bevy host buffet of Rocketeer action figures. From early Bendems to Funko and now to Diamond Select, this is a fantastic Rocketeer action figure. Boasting stands, rocket effects, you can take the rocket pack off. Yes, he doesn't quite have the most perfect likeness to the actor from the Rocketeer. And he also doesn't have his pistol but I'm not going to hold that against him. He does come with blueprints, an excessive amount of hands. Hear the music in your head as you look at this figure on your shelf. It is fantastic, and you definitely need to pick one up for the old collection. Now, 2020 was definitely an interesting year, especially for action figures having action figures of their own, and that goes into the world's smallest collection, from Mego Horror Figures to Transformers, He-Man, G.I. Joe, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the Ninja Turtles, they have what you are looking for. Little tiny clamshells with removable figures, the tiniest of weapons, but they make for the best of photos. Your action figures sitting around playing with Castle Grayskull, He-Man riding a battle cat, and Optimus Prime decides to join in. It's every bit the action figure experience that you had as kids, that is now translated to your action figures that you're playing with now as adults. Find them at Target, Amazon, and what have you, and definitely grab yourself a set. Now in my day, I have collected a whole host number 
of Carnage action figures, but not quite one such as this Diamond Select Disney Store 2020 exclusive. Featuring artwork such as Clayton Crane's cover art, it is an amalgamation of parts and pieces, jagged edges, claws that make up this gorgeous Cletus Cassidy Carnage figure. Multiple heads, accessories, pieces, clip-ons, what have you. This thing is monstrous. It's fascinating. It is every bit the discussion piece that you want in your action figure collection. A different breed of symbiote, one that fits in with new comics coming out and is totally different from any other Carnage or symbiote action figure on your shelf. I guarantee it. And the best part is you can find it in stores still now. Now, Marvel Legends is a tricky one, and I will be having a separate Marvel Legends list because there's just so dang many to talk about. But one that I have to point out is one from the very earliest 2020 year, the Cosmic Ghost Rider. And this is a near-perfect figure from the bike to the figure to the chain, the stand, everything and anything that you need for a Cosmic Ghost Rider figure is right here. You'll never have to buy another one again. I'm just saying, unless they repaint it and then I'll have to buy that again. But if you don't have this, you are missing out. It is one of the most gorgeous Marvel Legends figures to date. You've got to have it. Now, this is one of my highlights for 2020. Walking out of New York Toy Fair with a brand new Spawn figure in hand. And I haven't had a new Spawn figure in years, and we finally got an updated, multi-articulated figure, one that we've all been waiting for for quite some time. And they just loved it so much, they put out three different variations, Mace, Axe, and Sword, all the same figure, just a different weapon, as a McFarlane does. But just the fact that we have this now, and Maybe hopes of the future that new Spawn figures are coming with a very successful Kickstarter. I wouldn't put it past them that 2021 is going to be yet another fantastic entry into the world of Spawn. Now, I bet you weren't expecting to see yet another Mario figure on this list. This is the Lego Super Mario from the Super Mario System series. This is... What? I I don't even know. I didn't even know I wanted this nor needed this until Lego sent me a press release saying, hey, guess what? We're doing Lego Super Mario. This is such a cool, weird, electronic Mario that you can take through a self-built, totally modular world, and you create it brick by brick. All of it is electronic, activated, get coins, all the noises from Mario, switch out the uniforms, build it up. Huge, huge sets. Now, I'll be honest, I just need this one because it goes well next to my Nintendo systems. But if you have to get one, I highly recommend this. Now, NECA Toys has just been killing it this year on all aspects, but most specifically with their Ninja Turtle line that pertains to the original cartoon series. And your collection is not complete unless you have their new Metalhead, a gargantuan robotic turtle with several attachments, all straight from the show, really, really deep cuts. And that's what I love about what they do with their Ninja Turtle figures. He is a gorgeous sculpt, a one-off, unless they use it for the video game series. Even down to the little switch on his back, if you don't have this figure, you are missing out the cell-shaded paint, the look of the figure. There's so much love and attention to detail in this guy. The line itself is a work of art, and you have to have this metalhead action figure. Now, I have been begging the Power Ranger people for quite some time after they acquired the license that we got to see more evil space aliens, and they finally did it right at the tail end of 2020, but they did it, Dag Nabbit, and we got their pumpkin wrapper action figure, and much how I would describe the Cosmic Ghost Rider, this is a near-perfect figure. You get the accessories, you get multiple pumpkin accessories to put on said Power Ranger figure's head, 
just like in the episode of which he appears. He is fantastically articulated, the look is there, all his weapon effects put him up against the Power Rangers, he's a perfect Halloween seasonal figure, there's so many good things about this guy, he just takes you right back to sitting there watching on Saturday morning cartoons. Now much like their metalhead figure, we have the NECA Toys slash action figure from their TMNT Turtles in Time arcade series. Now I am a huge fan not only of the SNES game, but the Archie comic series as well. And while he does have graphics from a video game you would say, he totally reminds me of Slash from the Archieverse. I absolutely love it. The smirk on his face, his weapons, the belt, the little bomb that he comes with. He is every bit Slash from the black bandana to the purple knee pads, the spikes, the big turtle shell. All he's missing is his binky, right? That little palm tree. So, so cool. I absolutely love this. Ever since I got him this year, he has been on my desk and he has not moved. I love this Slash action figure. Now, 2020 was also a very interesting year for McFarlane Toys, being that they took over the DC Multiverse license. And very early on in January 2020, we got our first wave of action figures. And as the year went on, we saw so many new and fantastic sculpts dealing with Yes, very many Batmans, but this Batman in particular really caught my eye. This is based off the Sean Gordon Murphy White Knight slash Curse of the White Knight, and they have perfectly captured his art style, the look. I love the callbacks to Batman the Animated Series, the grapple, the way that the lasso fits around his belt buckle. This is a gorgeous Batman figure, and for all of 2020 and all the different Batmans, this one is my absolute favorite. And just before we hit the last, I just want to point out, this is from the Top 9 2020, evidently. I think I'll probably be doing more Spider-Man stuff, as I would be anyways. One of my favorites, of course. But thank you so much for following me on Instagram, YouTube. 3 million likes in 2020 alone. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for your support and for just loving toys as much as I do. Which finally brings us to my favorite last figure of 2020, the Boogeyman by Bam Toy Company. Now, this is a fan-made figure, but that does not discount it in any way, shape, or form of making it on my list for the top figures of 2020. This is gorgeous fully realized the boogeyman that I had been wanting since the Kenner days and nobody made it until BAM Toy Company did. It's fantastically painted, sculpted, perfectly captures that 80s creepy persona that is just the boogeyman. This is what I want to see. I want to see more Ghostbusters. I want Ghostbusters Afterlife to just rock it and have more toys for the new generation of kids to love and experience Ghostbusters as much as I have over the years. So thank you to everyone who watched this countdown for 2020. These are my favorite toys for this year. This was not the best year for anybody. But what we did was come together as a community for those that love action figures, toys, for those that make them, the creativity, the camaraderie, it was just unchallenged this year. We made up for it in spades. We came together and we rocked it together as a toy community. It was amazing. So many beautiful action figures came out of it. So many different toys. Leave me your comments below. Let's talk about my list. And furthermore, what would be yours? What are your top figures of 2020? I'm going to leave you guys with that as always. Drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, here's to 2021 and beyond. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.